So as you can see, man, it is a beautiful day here in our part of the country. We've got some snow. Today's Christmas Eve. And actually, Christmas came early. Earlier in the week, we took delivery of our lithium battery, our uh, inverter charger, and our charge verter that we're going to set up for our off-grid camp, which is uh, three three plus hours north of here. Now I've temporarily set it up here in my workshop at home. Now I set this up earlier in the week uh, just to get the battery charged. When I received it, it was at 50%. So this is not gonna be in a how-to video because I'm all new to this and all this stuff is new to me. And setting this up at our off-grid camp is the perfect way to start. This system that we purchased is easily upgradable, it's easily expandable, and hopefully it'll serve our purpose up there. Now we run our generator a lot, and we're trying to minimize how much we run our generator. Our generator runs on propane, and we go through about $750 a year in propane. And most of that is because of the generator. Our camp does have a propane uh, hot water heater. We have propane lights. We do have a propane stove. So there is other things that we use propane, but the generator uses up the majority of the propane. Hopefully this system is going to maybe cut that by a third. Now we're not gonna set up the solar panels right now. We're gonna actually just do most of the charging with our generator. So hopefully this system will work. Let me show you. So first of all, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'd like to thank all the people that have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Hey, let me turn this off because that's one of the knocks on this uh, inverter is that when the fan's running, it is a little bit noisy. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is noisy for me. So we are going to turn this off. We're going to Turn our battery off. There we go. Okay, that's much better. We've got this turned off. So I've got this all hooked up. And like I said before, this is not a how-to video because honestly, I'm all new to this. So what we purchased, let me get the beer out of the way. <laughs> this is just too much fun for me. So what we purchased is an EG4LL 100 amp hour 48 volt lithium ion battery. So the other thing we got is an EG4 3000 watt inverter charger. And we have a, we're gonna get this all out because this is too much fun. Oh yeah, look at that baby. This is an EG4 charge verter, five kilowatts. Whole five kilowatts of charging capability. So the reason for getting the charge verter is because we're gonna be relying on our generator for the most part right now to charge our battery. And because our generator is not an in inverter generator and it doesn't have enough output to be able to put out clean power, the charge verter is the way to go. Because from what I read is that these electronics don't like dirty power. And this eliminates that. And it charges the battery super quick. Our generator has a 240 volt output, which is what this runs on. You can reconfigure it, I guess, to 120 volts, but we're gonna keep it at 240. We may at some point down the road, get another lithium battery. So we'll have two of these. And, uh, but I think we'll be able to get away with one. Yesterday, I hooked everything up and it looks like a mess. So, you know, don't let that bother you too much. It is just temporarily hooked up in my shop. When we got this, the battery was only charged at 50%. So I wanted to get it charged up to 100% and then put loads on it and try to simulate what kind of loads we would be drawing at our camp. I ran it all night on five lights, LED lights, of course, because everything at camp is an LED. I ran the TV for, for quite a few hours as well. And we ran from 12 o'clock yesterday afternoon till this morning I came out here and checked it and the battery was at 52% state of charge, which is unbelievable to me. 
This morning I hooked up a space heater to it and I ran my little South Bend lathe just to see if that motor would cause any problems. My South Bend lathe has a half horsepower motor on it, very similar to the motor that we have on our shallow well pump at our off-grid camp. This thing didn't even bat an eye when I fired it up. We don't have utility power at our camp. So we're totally relying on our generator for everything that we do. And that's where this system hopefully will uh, alleviate that generator problem. We don't have a problem with our generator. We have a problem with running our generator all the time. Now again, I'm not going to show you how I did everything because I'm new to this and uh, there's too many other people on, on the uh, interwebs that are way, way, way more knowledgeable than me as to how to configure these and how to set them up. The only place I had problems was configuring the little dip switches to get the battery and the inverter to recognize each other. It took me probably about an hour. I was eventually able to get the inverter to recognize the battery and start charging and showing me all the information that this inverter will show you. So I think this 100 amp hour lithium battery is gonna more than serve, serve our needs. So we bought this through Current Connected. So we took advantage of Current Connected's free shipping in the month of November. And that saved us over $300 in shipping. Shipping is really expensive for this stuff. And I think it has everything to do with the lithium batteries. This lithium battery weighs just under 100 pounds. If you sign up on their website and become a member, you get some discounts on some of their stuff as well. And we might have saved uh, 100 bucks or something. To use the charge verter, I have to run a dedicated 240 volt uh, line from our generator into the camp. Because I've kind of made the decision and I was kind of undecided in the last video of what I was gonna do with this, but because of the heating issues with these batteries where they have to be at a certain temperature to charge, um, I've decided to put them in the camp. I think it's a little bit safer in there as well. But we'll have to run a dedicated 240 volt line from our generator house into the camp. So stick around in some future episodes where we install this and hopefully work through any problems that we're gonna have. And uh, maybe you'll learn something because I know I'm gonna learn something. Because this is all new to me, but it's exciting. Hey, we just hit 4,000 subscribers last month. That's pretty cool. So I'd like to thank everybody who did subscribe. I'd like to thank everybody who watches. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Well, why did it only charge to 94%? It didn't take very long, but it didn't, it stopped at 94%. Maybe I just gotta disconnect all my loads. I'm gonna disconnect all my loads and see if I can get it to charge to 100%. There's about 45 settings in there for different configurations, different th different ways that you're going to charge at different states of charge, whether you're going to be charging with uh, solar, with, whether you're going to be charging from uh, grid power, whether you're going to be charging from a generator. Okay, well, thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. See you next time.